How dare you Danes befoul my lands? Hold our favor and first we talk. Lady Edwin! A stone was taken from this tower, inscribed with runes, and the image of a tree. Do you know it? Yes. One of this heretic's blasphemous baubles. Is that why you've come? We are here to trade that stone for an assurance of peace. What are you saying? We gave Gatred our word. For that stone, we will leave your lands and not return. Oh, for this, you must bring me Giedrich's head. The stone is within our grasp. We made a promise, brother. Brother. We have a deal, then. We accept. Done. We do not! Avon! <laughs> no! Cut them down! <laughs> Leave none alive! Avon, are you mad? Evil, please. We had our chance. We will speak of this. I will not forget. Jesus, God, man. Minded fool! That was our chance to recover the stone without letting of blood. I will not betray Giedrich. That is not for you. My promises are my own, and they are ironclad. Your first oath is to your Jarl, Sigurd Jarl. That's one view, Basim. I believe there will be other chances. We can keep our oaths, and find the stone together. Edwin will flee to her castle. You want your stone? It will be there. Giedrich's pathetic army will never breach the walls. We could have first taken the stone, then laid siege. That was always our plan, Eivor. I had no intention of betraying Giedrich. It was your plan all along. Yet you saw fit to keep me guessing through your fits of madness. You are not always to be trusted. Your passions overcome you. Your father knew it. Sit here and bemoan your fate. 
brother. I have a promise to keep. You think too much of yourself, Eivor. You do not have the wisdom of Odin. This quarrel with your brother is something to behold. Has it always been so he- All my life we've moved as one. As family. As kin. I've always- Time makes idiot. You thought well to rest control- Gidrich at- East of Oxenforda. South of the Lichvila. Meet me there. I'll come see it. Brother. You're lost in a sea storm of your own men. Etwin's defenses have been weakened. But I could do more before joining Fulke. your eyes, my friend.
Best not to draw attention here. Be my eyes, Zunan. seen bandits strike and flee like lightning. This scene reminds me of that vividly. Feed on to the All Father's Feast.
Dear man, would you live under Edwin's boot? That is okay. You will be if these supply. It's for the good of your Shire. You've lost your senses. What's the noise about? She's trying to rob me. I warn you, soldiers are coming to escort me any minute. This merchant is taking supplies to the castle. Oil for boiling, arrows, shields, rations. I offered to buy them, but he refuses. I don't sell on a future promise of profit. Edwin's a valuable customer. Then I'll make you a new offer. How about a story? I'll spin you a tale in exchange for your wares. That's an odd bargain, Dane, but I'll bite. Sing me one of your sagas. The wild winds wandered. The seas spit salt. The night fell into slumber. Wise Odin rose and bade farewell. He pulled on boots of leather. Bit of a slow start. Pick it up! Long before, before the beginning, before you and I and the others, wise Odin looked with his one wane eye and stared and blinked and thundered. Uh, this Odin fella, he's one of your gods, innit? The moon burns red, the sea foams gold. Wise Odin utters the words. Right, this is not what I wanted. Stop it, will ya? The snake writhes, Loki yawls, poison drips from the mouth. Enough, enough! Is this some sort of Nordic curse? Run, go! How does it end? They all die. He said soldiers are coming. We can use these oil jars to surprise them. Fewer reinforcements for Edwin. I see visions of burning men, the screams of soldiers. If we place the oil and supplies near the hay along the road, it will burn like hellfire when the soldiers arrive. Take position on that bluff and watch for the soldiers, would you? You'll hear me howl as the men approach. This area is off limits. What was that? My howl. Edwin's men approach. May you die! 
high insurance. Cut them down, Aver! That's the last of them. Edwin will be waiting for aid that never comes. Something wrong? No. No, quite the opposite. At Sancte Albanes, your brother claimed kinship with the gods. Is it true? Is he descended from the arch- Not to be blunt, Fulke, but only half of what you say ever makes any sense to me. Forgive me. I often presume too much of my audience. Men who fear damnation, when ignorance is- Ignorance of what? What a perfect... I'll ask more simply. Could your brother be descended of the gods? Or could he be a god himself? How is that possible? You don't believe... Not elusive self-begotten light who, but a lesser god. Imperfect and... Sigurd is only a man. The son of a king and my brother. He may think highly of himself, but he's no- Yet it's possible his line of kings was fathered by a god. We haven't time for these fantasies. It's time I regroup with Gidrich, to see how his assault preparations are coming- Godspeed, Eivor. I will stay here, to pray for the souls of the dead before I join you.
Guide me. Look, lads! There's Abel! See that our fletchers have arrows enough for everyone. Twenty to a man. Gidrich. Avo, have you dealt each with a few bruising blows? I have. She'll feel the pain soon enough. Excellent. My men are itching to attack the fortress. But we'd be fools to force it now. Why is that? On account of Edwin's got too many traps and defenses. Her springles cut us to bloody stumps before they poured boiling oil upon us like a summer tempest. Keep the men at the ready. I'll slip in alone and see what I can do about these defenses. By my joints and ankles, you're a tough one. None will stop us! Eivor! Giedrich! And victory! That will be Edwin's last turn.
das. Using shrubs for cover. I'm in.
I could wreck these cauldrons. Springles are large bolt casters. I must disable them. Survey the area. Stop you! More to be done, but this should be enough to launch the assault. Now it's down to Gidrich to lead his men. Shit! I have to repair that!
say we wait. There's too much riding on this. I am Sigurdjarn, Lord of East Mercia, and I say we fight! Now! Is it done? It is. And have you laid your poles of Hazel and composed your poems for this coming victory? I am here to speak with Giedrich. Go on, then. Your master of Aids. Still dreaming of your precious stone? It is not dreams that led me here, Eivor. I've had visions. Prophecies from the gods. Visions? I'll sacrifice to Tyr this day. The Lord of Justice. The harbinger of flawless victory. Sigurd, what prophecies? Are we ready to assault the castle, Eivor? The sign's importance. Read well. I'll return when I've destroyed enough of it. We'll be ready. Eivor, are you ready to begin the assault now? We're ready. Give good. Let's end this before that flat-mouthed pudding has a chance...
the lofty lady. Do what you must, Thane of Dungheaps. As one loyal to her shire and her people, I know which of us God favors. Eivor bested you. It's for Eivor to decide your fate. Heal her wounds. Dress her in rags, and send her out into the heath in exile. You are banished from Mercia, without family, without rank, without friends to comfort you. I will walk the roads until my feet are bloody, dreaming of cutting out your rotten lungs. Take her away. I fulfilled my promise to you. I trust you will do the same. An oath between our people. Aye, ah, you've done us well, Eivor. I thank you. And if ever you need the like, I'll do what I can. I will. Count on it. I'd be quick about plundering. King Alfred will be on his way, and he won't be alone. of the Ancient Ones, the Isu, the gods of begat of gods. I... I've seen this somewhere. I know these words. I... One who stands at a threshold should take great care to look around. 
For who knows what foes lie in wait in the halls beyond? I've passed through this doorway once before. But Sigurd, in a dream, not once, a thousand times. A thousand. Does it say, Sigurd? Does it speak to you? Yes. But the words are... fucked. Shadowed. And yet I... I feel their meaning. And the ash tree... I see the great tree of life, her boughs reaching... skyward. Opening the way. It's just as you promised, Basim. All you foretold was true. Eivor, I am more than I appear to be. So much more. This is wicked magic, Sigurd. Dark Seda, do not listen. No, this is real. This is everything. To the walls! To the walls! Alfred to come! King Alfred of Wessex! Marching up the rise with a mess of soldiers! Have we time to escape? The men are spent. We've not a chance in blazing hell. A parley, then. We must call a parley. I will speak, and the King of Wessex will listen. As I understand, King Alfred, your name is not spoken with affection here in Mercia. Yet I am close enough to Wessex to hear myself praised from morn till twilight. <laughs> Return to your singing subjects then, and leave the affair.